Lori Lachance was valedictorian of her Foxcroft Academy class and went to Bowdoin because she liked the fountain. She's gone on to accomplish some amazing things. Most recently, she became president of Thomas College. Thomas College has a sweet, small campus in Waterville. Here they specialize in business, education, and technology. And even though I taught a course there a few years back, I didn't realize that not all the buildings are new. We have taken such good care of what we have. We don't have a lot of buildings, but what we have we take really good care of. We have almost no deferred maintenance. That's part of our business plan. And because of that, buildings have been refurbished to feel new feel classy, to feel cutting edge. Lori Lachance became president of Thomas in 2012 and brings her straightforward style to the job. For example, Thomas made a splash when it announced it would be fielding varsity teams in eSports. Yes, these varsity competitors are playing computer games against other colleges. They're going to be gaming anyway. They're really good at it. If they're gaming in their room, they're not getting that sense of engagement. So we've created this beautiful space for them that they call the cave. Lori Ganya grew up in Dover, hanging out with the family down at the lake. In school, she did music, was a student council officer, and did sports. In fact, as a freshman, she played in the second girls' Eastern Maine tourney. We snuck in at eighth place, snuck in yeah. by the hair of our chinny chin chin, and it was a big deal for the school. Yeah. Really big deal. I mean, we ate at the Blethen House, we had a big meal before. We went down there and we got absolutely annihilated yeah. by Van Buren. She also played at Bowdoin, where she became an economics major. She started at CMP three days after graduation and quickly became their corporate economist. It was fun. It's really fun. I mean, everybody likes to be asked their opinion, and forecasts are a great way to provide your thoughts and okay after looking at this this is what I believe is happening this is where I believe we should focus um, it's wonderful to feel that you might have some influence um, in some decisions at CMP she wrote financial forecasts of Maine which was important information to the business community in 1989 she married her husband David and they now have two sons she became well known after 1990 when she was hired as the state economist she served a Republican, an Independent, and a Democratic governor, becoming widely respected for her objective political-free economic forecast, here. which, she jokes, were occasionally correct. Don't fall into the trap of giving people what you think they want to hear. Just stay honest. And if you stay honest, if you're humble enough to say you're not always going to be right, and you own your mistakes, I think you you start to earn a track record where people believe you. She left to become CEO of the Maine Development Foundation. Along the way, she constantly toiled toward a master's in economics from Thomas. She was on the school's board when it began a search for a new president. And as those on the board narrowed their search, they decided to reach out to her. She already knew the mission. We deliver it in a very personal manner. Um, we offer majors and all kinds of supports that lead to jobs in the economy, jobs that need filling. And then we surround our students with things like guarantees, a job guarantee, that gets them to do the things they need to do to become employable. One of the few college presidents without a PhD, Lori became Thomas's first woman and first alum to become president. She brings her knowledge of Maine, economic prowess, tenacity, and a straightforward approach <laughs> to this lovely small campus where 80% of the students are from Maine and two-thirds are first-generation collegians. Lori's one of the most straightforward people I've ever met and she seems to impress everyone with whom she comes in contact.